This probably looks like any hallway you'd find here at ASU, but it's inside this honors painting studio that a senior artist is now being recognized for changing the lives of African refugees here in Arizona. Painting is, is basically everything. I like to uh, use colors that best complement what I'm trying to say. For 24-year-old Pepe Solomon. I knew I liked painting people that looked like me. His art is a portal to a reality he says few in Arizona know. The majority of people think that Africans are from just a place where there's just huts. He paints lifelike portraits of African refugees he meets in Phoenix, but with a narrative that goes far beyond a third world. When you walk in front of my paintings, I try to illustrate um, just elegance. Hoping to change the perception of refugees because he is one. And I'm just trying to capture that middle, whatever that means. Between two cultures? Between two cultures. Solomon lived in a refugee camp in Guinea for nine years. We went days sometimes without really having enough to eat. But it was there he found his love for art, sketching in his only notebook. You're wasting your uh, good notebook pages. <laughs> but I kept doing it anyways. His family moving to the United States when he was in high school. He never thought he'd even be able to go to college, but a scholarship making that possible. His refugee paintings now being sold for thousands of dollars and the Herberger Institute of Design and Art naming him its top undergraduate. But to Solomon. At one point I used to be shy to say I was from Africa. The best reward was finding himself. And I'm not afraid to be, uh, to, to be, to just be. In Tempe, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.